What's up everybody, it's Kevin with Custom Night Vision. Tonight we're out here uh, in the middle of the woods, kind of on the edge of my neighborhood, and we're gonna do some experiments on super gain tubes. But that's, that's not the answer. That's not the answer. That's not ever the answer. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'm never gonna find someone who understands things the way I do. There's been a lot of conversation about this and potentially some misinformation. But um, essentially, if you're not aware what a super gain tube is, L3 Harris makes unfilmed white phosphor tubes in a, um, now I would call it a standard range of gain, and they have an option for a super gain. If you're unfamiliar with what a super gain tube is or what this terminology means, essentially L3 Harris has an option, uh, an optional tube that is quote unquote a super gain tube. What sets us apart from what we would consider a standard gain tube is an increased luminescence gain operating range, 100,000 to 120,000 FL over FC. The standard uh, gain level or operating range is listed on a data sheet as 40 to 80,000, but in reality, it's actually 60,000 to 69,000. I've looked at hundreds of tubes and every standard gain tube has kind of been in that 10,000 um, range, you know, from 60 to 69,000. Essentially what this extra gain is supposed to achieve is an increase in the image tube's ability to amplify and collect light, uh, providing increased performance in extremely low light environments. This is theoretical. I'm not really sure how increasing the gain level increases the tube's ability to collect the light, but that's just my two cents. Uh, it has been stated that these tubes have been procured and tested by the U.S. military, uh, more specifically by SOCOM. They've been fitted in a select number or, I mean, probably pretty high numbers of PSQ-42s, I think, the, the EMVGB essentially, and uh, the F-Panos. So, we'll just stop for a second. Yeah. Neighbors showed up. Just fucking up our video. I'm gonna get water real quick while he's doing this. And these tubes have in fact been outfitted in the, or installed in the PSQ, I think it's the 42, uh, essentially the EMVGB and the F-Pano or the GPMVG. If you know anything about night vision, just saying that would uh, kind of lead you to understand who these, these tubes are going to be used by, but uh, it's irrelevant. From my research and other first person accounts, these have not been adopted as the new standard. However, they are in a state of continued testing and evaluation. Theoretically, this increased gain will provide more usable information while deployed in extremely low light environments. Um, we're gonna test that tonight. So, okay, all the technical talk aside, essentially super gain tubes have a brighter screen. The display is brighter. Like I could make this super technical and go into what FL over FC means. It means foot lumens per foot Lambert or something like that. And I'm gonna keep saying feet for people that may inadvertently stumble onto this video looking for weird stuff. Okay, be real honest with me right now. Yeah. Have you ever masturbated with these on? Oh yeah. Calling you out. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to like the video. Good luck finding your weird shit. All right, so we're just gonna go look through, you know, a few different PVS 14s, compare them. You get to see what we see, and we'll see if this is all hype, all BS, or if it's this is really legit. Maybe it's just um, maybe super gain tubes, or you know, just really good for one lighting condition. And they, we don't know what's gonna happen. I haven't used them enough to know, so we're gonna find out tonight. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know if you want to use any of that or whatever. All right, um, this is the first tube of the six that we're going to be comparing. Uh, this is the 1800 FOM standard gain tube. Tonight it is 62% illumination um, by the lunar charts. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say since this is the first one, but like take a good look in all the darkest areas. Um, We've got pretty good ambient light coming from the atmosphere because we are pretty close to a um, metro area.
All right, this is tube number two. This one is a super gain tube, still around the 1800 foam uh, metric that we talked about with the last one. Um, if we didn't make it clear in the intro, all these camera settings are locked. We uh, came out here a couple days before we shot this video and we decided on a, um, you know, all the different metrics we wanted to set the camera up at to get the closest representation of what you would see with your eye. So I'm looking through a tiny viewfinder. It's going to be hard for me to talk over this, but I can see a little bit, uh, I'm not going to say improvement or anything on this tiny screen, but things do look a little different in the darkest areas. So it's probably easier for you to see on whatever you're watching this on. You're around the base of those trees. The image looks a little brighter, a little brighter overall. Yeah, so we're gonna go on to number three. Uh, we swapped out our PVS 14s. This is tube number three. It is uh, a 2261 FOM unit, uh, standard gain. Tube number three. Yeah, really hard to see through this viewfinder or anything, but take a close look around the dark areas, the details at the bottom of the tree, how deep you can see into some of that more, um, I guess, vegetated area there in the foreground. And yep, tube number three. We'll switch it out for the 2200 FOM uh, high gain tube now. All right, we're on to tube number four, I believe. This is the 2200 ish FOM. I think it's 2260 something. Um, super gain tube. And with this one, I'm seeing it's noticeably brighter. Uh, we're going to annotate all the important specs off to the side of this video. It's dark, so I can't read the data sheet, but at any rate, I am seeing um, Im improved clarity in the very dark areas of this field of view here. Um, does look a little noisier, but it's hard to determine if that's a good or a bad thing. I don't like it more, but I don't like it less. It's kind of a weird weird thing um, yeah again you know take your eyes all to the edges of the, the image try to focus on the really dark areas and then compare those to you know the other tubes in this video back up compare them side by side and um, yeah let us know what you think we're gonna move on to tube number five now All right, now we're on tube number five. This one is a significant step up in SNR over the other four, 36.9, uh, 72 line pair, so it's a very high spec tube. This is the standard gain selection. I think last time I, if I remember correctly, it's something like 69 or 63,000 and change luminance gain. So this is a very good looking tube, very nice. I hope that's coming through your monitor or phone or whatever you're watching this on but from what I can see on the display here we've got you know good good enough ambient light to resolve everything in our field of view all right I'll go ahead and put the super gain tube on now for comparison all right we're at the final tube in this location uh, this is tube number six. This is a 2600-ish FOM super gain tube. It has a slightly lower SNR than the one it's being compared to. It's a 36.7 instead of 36.9. I know I said it earlier, but in case it gets chopped out, we're at 62% illumination tonight um, based on internet, moon, charts, lunar, magic, whatever. Um, there's a technical term for the phase of the moon. Uh, I don't remember. Waning, waxing, gibbous, some something. I don't know. Anyway, so 
this tube's a little bit brighter than the last one in my viewfinder. I don't know how that's going to show up on your phone or monitor or television or in your theater room. God, I hope you're watching our videos in a big ass theater room. Um, yeah, it's, uh, again, can't de say definitively if one's better than the other. Um, but it does look different. Let me focus this a little bit. I feel like the top of those trees was more in focus. There we go. Okay, does that, hopefully that looks better for y'all. Yeah, so, yep, there's two number six. 2600 and change. Uh, FOM, I think 109,000 and then some luminance gain. We're gonna switch locations and try to run through all these again, if time permits. We're in location number two. This is tube number six. We're backlit a little bit by a street light that's probably 100 meters away or more. Um, shadow's not visible with our naked eye, but you can see it a little bit in the bottom right there. Again, this is tube number six, the 2600 plus foam uh, super gain tube. We'll move on to tube number five. We're gonna work in reverse. This is location two, tube number five, um, 2600-ish FOM, standard gain tube, yeah, got a car coming up behind us, gonna have to wait, way off in the distance. Location number two, tube number five. Yes, boom mic. All right, we're on tube number four. This is the Super Gain 2200 FOM tube. Um, same stable lighting conditions. No, no additional lights in the background. Um, just the 62% illumination we spoke about earlier and a street light about 100 meters behind us, partly shielded by uh, canopy. Uh, we're gonna move on to tube number three. All right, we're on tube number three, the 2200 FOM standard gain unit. Yep. No additional car lights, same lighting conditions as before, 62% illumination with a street light pretty far behind us. Um, really only illuminating, I don't know, 20 or 30 feet in front of us. Where we need to be focusing is further downrange, those culverts here. This is what we need to be focusing on, this tree line and any kind of resolution we can get back here. 2200 gain, standard tube, <clears throat> tube number three, on to the two 1800 FOM units and we'll be done. We're almost done. This is tube number two, 1800 FOM unit, super gain. Same lighting conditions as before. Man, this tube still looks good. Tube number two, 1800 foam, super gain. Moving on to the last tube, tube number one. It's the 1800 foam standard gain tube. Same lighting conditions as before with the exception of these, this is some headlights getting thrown over our head from about 500 meters behind us, there's an intersection. I don't know if that's showing any usable contrast there. Last tube, tube number one, standard gain, 1800 foam. 
video for comparison. Here you go. Let's get some light out of this place. Yeah. 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 Ah! Okay, so I haven't seen any of these clips yet, so I can't give you a definitive answer of what I think. Um, yeah, we're gonna chop it up. You can check it out. We'll talk about it in the comments. Our mic is dead. It's really hot. I don't want to shoot at a third location. Uh, this was a lot of fun, kind of. I'm excited to see what it looks like on a monitor. Uh, any of those feet people that stumbled upon this video, I hope you're still still here. Y'all are the real ones. Uh, get down in the comments section, like, subscribe. You know, tell me about your weird feet fetishes. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.